How's it going, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're back with another Let's Talk. So, before I start, start talking about technical difficulties and Game of the Week, there's a particular YouTuber I want to speak about. His name is Mammon Gaming. You probably won't know him. He probably, I think he only had, well, under 100 subscribers. I don't know how many. But... Like, a day after I did my last Let's Play, I saw him do a post about quitting YouTube. Now, I don't usually see that on the new YouTubers Reddit, but it struck me as... Not weird. I understood... Oh, my hair's bloofed! I understood why he did it. Because he basically was saying, so there are so many Let's Players out there, and what are the chances of me being spotted? Which is fair enough, because I bet I get... Some Let's Players just want to play and get noticed. The thing is with Let's Plays, though. Maybe for you, or maybe for anyone, it is about getting attention. Maybe it's about you know, making a living off it. But personally, I find that's a wrong way to look at YouTube. Like, ever since it started, it was really about a place you could create content but I think some people forget that sometimes I mean I guess when I went into YouTube I thought oh hey it's a great way to advertise my book and I'm guessing some people do think oh okay he made the YouTube channel to like get his book out there and you know that's true but <laughs> where before I made my first YouTube video and when I saw myself performing was I don't know my opinion changed it wasn't it didn't feel like it should be all about getting my book out there I enjoyed creating something and even if it was only 30 views it was the start of something that was new and you know I could impact someone's life with that so I guess what I'm trying to say is for let's players especially on YouTube it gets hard but just because you're not getting the amount of subs you want Just because you're not getting the amount of subs you want, it's not a reason to give up. You should always strive to be do your hardest, but you shouldn't give up because you're not getting anywhere. Just change the game. But, you know, I imagine this speech would be a bit more Barack Obama, but it didn't really turn out like that, did it? But alright, fine. Um, technical difficulties. So, I've been able to improve my graphic performance. That's because... I was using XSplit. Um, at first, open broadcasting system didn't seem like the way to go, but then I not only was able to adjust the screen, but I was able to increase the bitrate. So yay, we got somewhere with that. Um, I have ideas of how to improve the microphone. There's a microphone I have my eye on. It's like the ones the BBC use, or well, where I found out about it, Game Grumps. But I'm not sure how expensive it is, and to be fair, I don't think I'm going to work on the microphone for some time. I've still got to work on the webcam. Um, I've still got to work out how to get rid of those annoying black rectangle things, which is probably around this video right now. But that's a work in progress, guys. So what can you do? Right. Game of the week. I've been struggling this week to find a new game. So <laughs> I'll tell you the nominees. The main one that kept coming back to me was RPG Shooter. Ah, oh, what was it? RPG... I knew I should have researched, like, my videos, my own videos before this. RPG Shooter Star Wish. That's the one. That was the main one. But, see, even though it was good gameplay, the story even for an RPG, felt a bit over-convoluted, and stuff was just being shoved everywhere. Gameplay was only what I was going with. So, I tried other games. The next one that really struck to me was The Strike Force Heroes 2. It was good gameplay, it was good multiplayer, but it wasn't really my type of game, and it felt a bit repetitive. So, I wasn't sure about that. I really liked the look of Tales Worth Arena Death Watch. But the gameplay wasn't that good. Even if they made some... I love my goblin voice. I can't even remember how I did it. But 
the problem with Tailsworth was I just wasn't sure about the gameplay. It was just too slow for me. So I was going to come to this video and be like, oh, yeah, okay, Star Shooter, that's going to be the game of the week. I mean, there's not much better. But then I played a game called The Last Stand Union City. And to be fair, this week, I think that's going to be the game of the week. It's it's not the most imaginative thing I've seen, but I've got to admit, it's it's more detailed and it doesn't over convolute the story. So I'll leave a link to my video and the game on Congregate in this video and you can check out both. So yeah, other than that, subscribe account and we're at 10. My first two digits, I am so proud. This was videoed on a Saturday, so if when I release this, it's a Sunday and I get like 11 subscribers, I'm sorry for getting it wrong, but you know, time restraints because I've got my sister's barbecue tomorrow. That should be fun. But yeah, thank you, you 10 people. Thank you, the game developers and Congregate for such awesome content. Um, might as well also talk about you go Rush of Destruction. I think that you guys might have noticed that I'm making a lot of content. I've also noticed they're not getting that much attention, which is understandable. I think the way I want to go with my two videos a day is I want one video which is just a single Let's Play, which you guys can look at and be like, oh, is that game good, is it not? But then the other one's more the games I want to play, and then just experience the story and have a laugh. I mean, if you, do, if you guys don't want to watch it, that's fine. If you do, great, then... I'll have some fangirls and fanboys. Yes. But that's why I've been making so many Rush of Destruction videos. And when another game comes out, I've got my own a few. That's a long running series. Then I'll probably do a ton of those. But yeah, there's, I, I might stop with Rush of Destruction. It depends how far I get with like grinding. But just want to let you know how things were standing. Anyway, it's been a great week. Two weeks down. My whole life to go. I hope I live a long life of 80. I'll be like an old man. I'll forget my lines. And I'll screw my YouTube channel up. <laughs> uh, anyway. That's it for this week. And I look forward to seeing you ne next week. Look out for my book. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until the next time. See ya.